going to be making a three-tiered uh, tray that all screws together. I already pre-mixed my epoxy, pouring a little bit into a smaller uh, silicone bowl because I'm using two different colors. For the first base, I'm going to be using a uh, mother of pearl uh, primary color. Whereas the second color, I'm using a really dark purple. So just measuring out uh, just a little bit for the smaller amount. Whereas the Mother Pearl needed a much larger amount, obviously. And then it's sped up here. So while it looks like I'm mixing really fast, I'm actually mixing really slowly, trying to keep minimize the amount of bubbles getting into the epoxy. So keep that in mind that this video is sped up so and then mixing it up real good it is a silicone uh, mixer so I measured it out with a wooden stick and then mixing with a silicone stick so I'm trying to just trying to minimize the amount of uh, bubbles the same thing with the purple it's a silicone mixer mixing stick Whereas the measuring, uh, the spooning stick was a wooden stick. So once I get that all mixed up, the mother of pearl sat for quite a bit longer. One trick that I learned to use, a lot of people apply their heat gun right to the uh, epoxy that's been sitting in their mix for a little bit. I just breathe on it. The heat from your breath will pop any bubbles sitting right on the top. So, and then pouring it right into my silicone molds right there. So, and obviously, the amount of mix that's sitting in the cup, you're not going to get all your bubbles right out. So, you just got to let it do its thing. You're going to, at the very end, apply the heat gun at the very end. Do your best to try and let it spread out on its own. When we get to the purple here, just doing a little bit just to add that color to it. So you see just pouring it nice and easy just in there just to get a good color purple in there. So while there's still quite a bit left in that cup, I'm going to push that off to the side. Sorry, I can't speak right now. <laughs> so then we take to get that all mixed in the way I want it to. I wanted to get it to combine and get a nice good mix in there. Take the heat gun and you'll see it to start to, the purple start to spread out into that mother of pearl without mixing. And see how it nice starts to cloud in there nicely. And you got you do have to be really careful here because you can start to preset that epoxy. So you end up with a really nice uh, blend from the purple into the mother of pearl. And then I just push away from the edge trying to get any bubbles right on the very edge to finish, pop, uh, finish coming to the surface and pop them out. Meanwhile, trying to keep that purple towards the center. And then I noticed a something black into the got into the epoxy, so I just took my tweezers and pulled it right out. In my middle silicone plate there, you can see just something. It is something that I that is on my workbench there. And then I'm taking what's left of the purple cup and putting it into the base of the smaller uh, silicone mold. 
So didn't want to waste it. Knew I was wanting to use the purple base on the very top level. So just trying to get it as much in there as I can. And didn't want to waste it. So I'm putting it in there. And then come back, take the heat gun to it. And apply it as much as possible to get it to spread out. And then as the uh, mother of pearl big base sits for a little bit longer, more of the bubbles will start to come to the surface. So I'll just quickly apply the heat gun to it to get it to spread out. Now one of the things I did do wrong on that upper, the smaller one, was I used the heat gun a little too much there. So as I've said in previous vi videos, you know, I am still learning, so a lot of these times, you know, I learn a lot of things. And part of what I do here is I try to spread, al spread along what I've learned. I want other people to learn from me. So I love how the purple is spreading out in there. And that's about how quick you're supposed to move a heat gun over it. You don't want it to overheat the epoxy. And unless you're trying to mix in other colors, that should sit and fully cure. Now one of the other things that I did do wrong is that I didn't fully let it cure to the point where it was ready for another layer. So you'll see here that I'm already uh, mixing in. This is about six hours later. I should have given it a couple more hours. But the bigger one is for purple this time, whereas the smaller one's the mother of pearl. And this is all right for the middle one where this is going to be a purple base on top and the, the mother of pearl uh, is the, uh, the swirls, which is fine as long as I don't touch the outer two. But you'll see as we keep going along here, and again, this is sped up, so it looks like I'm sp mixing really fast and you can see in that in that uh, big cup some bigger bubbles forming there but I was mixing really really slow there but this is a sped up video and my camera's having a hard time focusing but we continue along and Come on, camera, get focused in. There we go. All right. Now we got a purple base poured. And it's all about learning as you go along. So I really love how this purple poured. And the camera doesn't do the... the Mother of Pearl any justice. The Mother of Pearl really does look as beautiful as that purple, but the purple really shines. In this lighting. So just the same as the uh, Mother of Pearl with the purple inlay, you're going to do the same thing. Pour your pur purple base first. and then come back and pour little streaks of the white base in. And then here's where I did wrong. That smaller one wasn't fully uh, cured and it was from applying too much heat when I was trying to get it to to set around. I should have just let it set and do its thing instead of applying the so much heat to it right at the beginning. But 
but I should have let it fully cure because of how much heat I applied right at the beginning. But you can see right there, applying the heat gun, you can watch all those um, micro bubbles just popping right away. And then I take the heat gun, getting the, the mother of pearl color just blending right in there. And it does an absolutely beautiful job of blending. And you can see on the on the uh, the big the big plate there how well it blended together as it cured. And then that the middle plate there, you can see I'm almost too full. But it still does a really good job of blending together. You can see the epoxy trying to uh, spill out the edge just a little bit, but it does a good job of staying in the, uh, the mold there. Do manage to keep it in. What you should do is when, once you get it all blended together, remove the heat and then when you need to come back and apply heat to it to uh, pop any micro bubbles that formed and bubbles coming to the surface, apply it again. So here after everything is uh, cured together, I'm just applying clear to that uh, bottom base there because that wasn't quite thick enough to reach the top of the silicone mold as well as the top base and that white that mother of pearl white on the top base on the smaller plate isn't set either from doing the the white on the on top of the the purple so that white starts to blend in with the clear. So all I'm doing with the big plate is adding a clear clear coat to it to make it thicker. And that was the attempt on the smaller plate. But it started to mix in with the white because the white was still very uh, liquidy from. And it was literally just poured. Here's another place where I did mess up because I used too much of heat gun to try and spread it around. Normally I've done in the past of just using a uh, stir stick to spread it all around. And I decided to try something new to experiment and just use the heat gun. I, I could have used the heat gun and just put it on a lower setting. My heat gun is a uh, variable temperature heat gun. And I didn't turn it low enough. I kept it on a hotter setting and I started uh, getting the epoxy that's still not fully uh, had the full time to set. So it started getting into the bottom layers of the epoxy. I did start to see this happening so I did stop what I was doing. And move on from there. So, what you see going on here is the I did manage to get some purple mixed in to the uh, top tier, the, the smaller plate, um, before it finished setting. So there was some purple mixed in there. I forgot to turn on my camera, 
So now it's now we're going into assembly mode after everything's cured. And I did sand it all down. I went from 240 grit sandpaper all the way to 6,000 uh, grit sandpaper uh, wet sanding. So this is my first time sanding epoxy all the way to that part. It was wet sanding. So it was a lot of fun learning how to do all that. I've done some uh, other versions of sanding, just never that far. So now it's time to put it all together. And as you can see here, um, I put it I put it together. I'm just following the instructions that I've got off to the side there. Had all the pieces laid laid uh, laid out, ready to go. And um, but. It was supposed to be a washer and a um, spacer on the bottom, but the space wasn't big enough on the bottom for that, so I moved them to the top of the plate. But even that wasn't big enough for the first pedestal to go on top of. So I added a second one, because it was supposed to be a spacer on top and a spacer on bottom. So I added that second spacer on top, and boom, now it all worked. So once we got that all figured out, then just continue the assembly process for each tier. And all throughout the process. And then the top tier. Spinning it all together. But you still got that screw in the bottom. So just trying to get it as tight as possible without damaging anything. So, and then we're on to our finished product. Thanks everybody for watching. I learned a lot with this project. Be sure to follow for any further projects and y'all have a great day.